Hello again, everyone. From the Supreme Court in Ottawa Glandorf, it's a big matchup in girls basketball. A couple of teams that met in a district final a year ago. Looking to head back there again. And it'll be a big matchup as the Eagles of Liberty Benton have come to Ottawa to face the Lady Titans. Hello again, everyone, alongside my partner, Miles Holiday. I'm Randy Roberts, partner. Big one tonight here, undefeated LB. One loss OG. It's kind of got that big game feel here. Tuesday night, nice crowd. Looking forward to what should be a good one. Yeah, LB at OG. Where else would you rather be, my partner, the mayor of Northwest Ohio? We get to call a great traditional two teams that are really blue bloods of Northwest mm -hmm. Ohio and girls basketball get to call this one. It's going to be a fun one. A nice little Christmas present ahead of Christmas, and I get to do it with you, my friend, the mayor of Northwest Ohio. And these two met twice a year ago. This meeting will be the 42nd all-time with Ottawa Glandorf leading the all-time series 23-18. OG won the biggest matchup. That was a district final in a light at 35-31. Aaron Kaufman with 21 points in a part of uh, that one. OG advanced to the regional final before falling to Worthington Christian in overtime, while Liberty Benton won the regular season meeting between the these two, 51 to 41. And partners, so far as we said, Liberty Benton coming in and undefeated at 6 0, Ottawa Glandor 4 and 1, and they're doing it a couple of different ways. Yeah. Ottawa Glendorf coming off their first loss of the year uh, over the weekend against Little Christian, 46 to 63. Really a close game until about six minutes left in that one. So a little bit of surprise that they lost it in the manner that they lost and big numbers, but you know, still trying to figure out where the pieces are really going to fit for this program. They've won a couple close games, but you know, some teams that are a team that is still trying to figure out where they need to be because of injuries. People getting healthy again, not really exactly the, the full chemistry that they want uh, where they're at this part of the season. And for Liberty Benton, it is their big two players, top two scorers in the Blanchard Valley Conference in Lauren Gherkin and Riley Irwin. Yeah, this is a team that can blitz you in a hurry. Scored plus 63 times already this year, including a high of 78 against Van Lu. Uh, not just one player in Gherkin, they have many that can score. It's a team that will get points off of turnovers and they can shoot the three at a proficient level. Yeah, Gherkin, 21.2 points, eight rebounds, three and a half steals while shooting nearly 60% from the floor. Riley Irwin, we saw her a couple of times a year ago. Deadly three-point shooter, 24-56 so far this year. Just a hair under 43%, 48% overall from the floor. She adds in another 17 points, does a little bit of everything. She goes three steals and two assists. But this is a deep team that likes to dish the basketball. Kylie Reichert, five assists. Addie Crow at just under three. And uh, Sophia Barbara adds 2.3 three steals. Uh, they turned the ball over, as you said, Crow with two steals as well, so a really good Liberty Benton team. Irwin with 24 threes already, and Addie Crow with nine threes. They make it so it's tougher defenses to collapse inside on their big post players. This is a very deep team, as you said. You don't even talk about Kara Swillow, a Division One prospect that's going to play at Penn State in volleyball. You don't even talk about her until you get to third or fourth, or maybe even fifth on the depth chart. This is how deep and how talented this team is. Now speaking of deep, Ottawa Glendorf, a very deep team. No eye-popping number Numbers per se coming in at four and one. They have different players that can score. We see Carson Erford leading this team, 10 and a half points, but it's a balanced staff for Caitlin Grothaus, 8.8 .8 points, went for 18 in a one point win over Fairview. Katie Kaufman at 8.8 .8 points as well. She went for 17 in a win over Wapakoneta. Caitlin Kimmon at 7.6 points. She went for 16 in a win over Kenton. So a lot of different players have the ability to score the basketball for the Lady Titans. Yeah, a little more balanced than a year ago. Of course, Erin Kaufman and her 13 points. Player of the year in the WBL last year. She graduated, of course, playing at Malone. But it's a little more balanced team. I think the big X factor, though, is Kaitlyn Grothaus. Nine points to sophomore. If she can get consistently into double digits, that's going to be a real explosive team. So looking forward to what should be a good one. Before we get to our keys to the game, we'll step aside for a break here as they get ready for the national anthem. We'll take a break here. Girls basketball coming up next, WOSN. Roberts Miles Holiday back with you here from the Supreme Court in Ottawa Glandorf, just about ready to go for his big non-league girls basketball matchup between the Titans and the Eagles of Liberty Benton. Going through the inductions of our starting players, Miles, so that'll give us a chance here. But some keys to the game 
for uh, each of the teams in this one tonight. Yeah, we'll start with our visitors, Liberty Benton. Number one, go fast, then faster. This is a team that wants to push tempo. If they get this game into the 50s, 60s, or even 70s, that bodes well for them. Number two, turnover city, baby. They will apply all kinds of pressure and turn this game into a layup line after getting turnovers. And then bombs away is number three, Randy. This is a team that is deadly from behind the arc, 36% on the year from long range. If they're hitting bombs from outside, watch out. It's going to be a big night for LB. How about some keys to the game for the home standing Lady Titans of Ottawa Glendor? Yeah, number one, play under control. They were a little discombobulated this weekend against Toledo Christian. Get back under control. Don't give the ball up because it usually results in turnovers that result in points. Number two, double Gherkin. I know this is a tough one, right? She is such a dynamic player at 21 points a game. If you're going to double her, you're going to let shooters shoot from outside. you got to pick your poison with this team. And then eight feet and in. I think if they pound the post, get Liberty Benton in some foul trouble. It's going to be tough to do because Liberty Benton averages about 10 block shots a game. But if they get eight feet and in, dominate the paint, they got a shot to win this game. It's just about ready to go for this one. We'll give you the starting lineups quickly before we toss this one up. For Liberty Benton, it'll be Sophia Barbara, Kylie Riker, Riley Irwin, Lauren Gherkin, Addie Crow for Ottawa Glandorf, Carson Erford, Maggie Veroff, Caitlin Grothaus, Mike Aldrich, and Katie Kaufman. Ottawa Glandorf, home whites with the gold numbers. Liberty Benton supporting uh, black unis, black with the blue trim and white numerals. Mark Freilich has this one in the air. We are underway from the Supreme Court. Eagles win the opening tip. Yeah, good jump by Mark Freilich, the lead official on this. Great job getting this game started. Looking for that three-point shooter right away. High post pass comes in for Barbara. She'll swing it around to the wing. Lady Eagles at any one point will have four players around the perimeter. There's one of them, three-point shot from the wing. Is going to be good. Early three, Kylie Wrecker. Release, rotation, and splash for Wrecker. That's why they shoot 36% from outside. Post-entry, kick it back out to the shooter. There's a little contact inside. Loose ball is going to be grabbed by the Titans. They'll maintain possession. Just underway, Ottawa Glandorf down three early on. Yeah, first block shot of the... Evening for Liberty Benton. Barbara with her first one averages two a game. Titans play a different style. They'll look inside. Nothing so far. We're very patient against this 2 3 that Liberty Benton's employing. Look at the activity, though, by Liberty Benton out front. Got their hands in good position. Tough to make a skip pass over top. Erford wanted a dribble drive. She was cut off. Oh, well, there's one knocked away inside. It'll lead to the steal and the turnover. Eagles in transition. Kick it out to the corner. Dump it down to the baseline for Gherkin. Gherkin again, the leading score, 21 a game. A little surprised that she didn't take it on the fast break. Had the angle, elected to kick it back out. She's the one that held the ball high above everyone's heads. Saw her wave off the entry pass there. It comes out to Irwin. Irwin with a kick out. Another three, same spot as the last one. That one's going to be no good. Lady Titans come up with a miss. Now they'll push in transition ahead to Erford. Erford trying to maintain possession, nearly had it taken away. Yeah, I thought maybe she moved her pivot foot. Officials let it go. Good job by the officials. Kicking a look at it, electing the same. She did not travel. Trying to find a soft spot in that zone. Runner off the angle, no good by Aldrich. Offensive rebound comes to the corner. Three ball is going to be no good. This one popped up and finally settles into the hands of Laura, oh, sorry, of Addie Crow. They slow it down. Coach Irwin calling a line set from the free throw line extended. Keep an eye on Gherkin. She's always going to touch the ball in every set. He's off the wing. Deep three. That one rims out. Long rebound is grabbed. Free throw line extended by the Titans. They look to move. Had a five on four. Pull up jumper off the angle is going to be good. As Carson Erford gets the Titans on the scoreboard. Yeah, allows Ottawa Glandorf to apply some pressure here. Erford, uh, leading scorer on this team with 11 points a game. game. If she can get in double digits, it's going to bode well for them. See, three to two on our scoreboard. Scoreboard tonight presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of Structure Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, division of Alts, seamless spouting. Baseline pull up is going to be left short under the basket. Rebound is grabbed by Katie Kaufman. Yeah, great defense by Grothaus on that possession. First on ball pressure, then on help defense. Titans send it over the top, back into the hands of Erford. Erford starts to cut, no entry pass. Come back to the wing, they'll reset the offense with Grothaus. 
Redhouse trying to attack inside. That one's going to be partially blocked. We're right to a teammate who's able to put it up and good. I believe that was Katie Coffin that ended up scoring for the Titans. Yeah, the six foot junior and eight points a game gets her first two that time. Just hanging around the low basket, low post area. Good things happen to you. Gets the garbage, puts it back in. A great spot for us to broadcast from. Just one blind spot and that happened to be right where Kaufman was situated under the basket. So pass to the corner, that's gonna be taken away that. Is Ottawa Glandorf strength right there, Miles? Yeah, Ottawa Glandorf, they are playing with tremendous defensive intensity. They've gotten into the 50s. They prefer playing a little slower pace. Three ball from the corner, hits the iron twice. Rebounds fought for, offensive class for the Titans. They'll get inside about the runner that's up and good that time as Maggie Veroff becomes the third different player to score. Uh, credit Kaufman though, she's the one that kept it alive. So 6-3 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Ottawa Glendorf electing to go with Kaufman on Gherkin. A little bit more height on Gherkin. And a little trouble. Kylie Riker rolled it off her foot into the backcourt and then kind of grabbed the, her foot as if maybe she pulled something. Yeah, Coach Irwin kind of Asking the official, hey, with a little bit of foul go on there, but uh, officials, good job right on top of it. Said, no, sir, let's keep playing. Three and a half minutes left to go here. Fast moving, quarter number one, 6-3. Titans out front, there's one just taken away. It's Kylie Recker will come up with a steal. Great awareness by Recker. Saw the loose dribble, go attack. Gets a possession for her team. Trying to get the entry pass, and when it's throw it back up top of the key, no one there. Ball is then knocked out of bounds, trying to hustle to it. Was Lily Hazelman checked in. Yeah, how about the effort of Hazelman diving, heading towards the front row, tries to keep the ball in bounds. The OG faithful, letting her know about it. They love the effort. And everyone's standing and applauding something. I missed an announcement that happened. And it should be the great effort by Hazelman. That might have been it. Trying to come up with another steal off the inbound, just absolutely hounding Wrecker. There's another one though, the ball is stolen away in the corner. Grodhouse will like, give it up after the steal and the bucket. Now great to see Chloe Glenn using the left hand. The young lady that was hurt a year ago had 19 and a half points a game before the injury. She's back out on the floor now. Well, now it kind of makes sense as to what the uh, ovation was about is uh, Chloe, Chloe Glenn made her way onto the floor here. Quick timeout taken by the Eagles. 8-3 early on here. This one playing right in the Titans' hands. Yeah, a little bit of surprise. Liberty Benton, they got some shocked faces over there. Really, Randy, just getting outplayed, out-hustled by Ottawa Glandorf. They're the first ones on the floor. They're playing with the defensive intensity, and that's translating into an 8-3 lead. A record with the early three, but it's been all Titans since then. An 8-0 run, part of this early lead. As Coach Irwin will... Uh, Work this one out. That was nice. PA gave us a little bit of shout out. Liberty Benton with the basketball following the quick 30 second timeout. Oh, well, luxury though. You have Gherkin that if you want, you can throw it into her and let her bring the ball up. A versatile player. Can face the basket, play their back to the basket. Irwin with a long lob inside. It's going to be knocked free, but right into the corner where the Eagles will maintain possession. Wrecker with it. She's going to have it poked away. Hazeman unable to save it from going out of bounds. And the Eagles will have to inbound a very difficult spot here. 2.23 to go quarter number one. And the perimeter pressure that Ottawa Glandorf is applying is absolutely insane. Hazelman giving great effort that time. Three steals already and a couple poke outs on dribbles making it very tough for Liberty Benton to get any offensive set going. Liberty Benton taking a long time on the inbound, trying to get it into the hands they want. That is Lauren Gherkin. Gherkin working top of the key, spins, and the ball knocked away, but OG with a matching turnover. They wanted to get it ahead to Hazelman, but the pass wasn't on target. Eagles get it back. That turnover was caused because of weak side double underneath Gherkin. Gherkin gets the ball with her back to the basket. OG is elected to go ahead and double team her. Holding it high now, Barbara. She'll get rid of it. Here's a corner three, a high arcer. That one's going to be no good. Backside rebound pulled down, Caitlin Grothaus. 
Grodaus bring the ball into the front court, about the bounce pass ahead. And Chloe Glenn couldn't get it. Offensive rebound under the basket will get a whistle. Ball, I believe, lost out of bounds. As we see some substitutions come in for both squads. And Chloe Glenn just found herself a little too far underneath the basket on that entry pass. Couldn't do anything with it. Had the missed shot. It would have been a huge bunny layup to make the 10-3 game. Titans will maintain possession, so she had it knocked out of her hands. And now they'll get it back into the corner. Here's a three. That's going to be up and good. Carson Erford, first one with two buckets for the Lady Titans. She's got five, and it's now an 11-0 run for Ottawa Glandorf. Yeah, not just a shot taker. Erford, a shot maker. Kirkin with a kick out. Crow with it, gives top of the key. Irwin trying to get a little bit of space. Now Gherkin, she'll unload deep three. Good rotation, doesn't get it to go, but a nice offensive rebound. Pulled down by Riker. Now the lob to the back side of the basket. Good turnaround, that's going to be partially blocked. Holding her ground defensively was Kaufman, but the Eagles come away with it. Here's a straight on three, couldn't bank that one in. Was Irwin, and finally the Titans come away with a rebound. This one lobbed down to the low block, but it's going to be poked free. Three black and blue jerseys surround it. And it's Lauren Gherkin comes away with the basketball. Yeah, important that Liberty Benton gets themselves a quality shot with 36 seconds left. Good battle inside. And they're going to say that was Karis Willow that initiated the contact. And it's going to be a turnover for Liberty Benton. Yes, Miles mentioned this in the pregame. This tells you how deep Liberty Benton tries to go. Karis Willow is playing Division I volleyball. <laughs> and cannot and does not crack the starting lineup. Yeah, how many teams will have a 6-3 bench player come in, right? Uh, the, the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> the Boston Celtics. A little 2-2-1 action here now by Liberty Benton trying to get a turnover. Ottawa Glendorf's done a pretty good job of taking care of the basketball so far. Under 30 seconds left to go in our uh, ultimate outdoor scoreboard here in the opening quarter. Another turnover. Eagles trying to uh, get something out of it. Layup's going to be no good. Offensive rebound and put back. Can't go off the high glass. Ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Eagles. 13 seconds to go in quarter number one. Now his record that kept the ball alive after the missed shot. Liberty Benton, it tells you how, how tough they're struggling. Two point blank range shots. Can't come up with either one. He'll get one more opportunity here. Pass comes into the corner for Gherkin. Up top of the key. Irwin trying to lob it inside. Gherkin double team, spins out of it. Finds the extra pass, open three, no good. Ball's out of bounds. <laughs> Trying to get saved. The Titans will have it with just four tenths of a second to go. Now with point .4 left, you can tip it in, but they're just gonna like to hold it. Yeah, I don't think the Titans in enter here. 11-3, Ottawa Glandorf leads this one after one. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Eleven three, Ottawa Glandor ends the opening quarter on an eleven to nothing run after Liberty Benton gets the opening three pointer of the night from Kylie Riker. Titans played pretty good basketball through uh, through eight minutes so far. Outstanding defense by Ottawa Glandorf. Randy, this is a team in Liberty Benton that has scored 65, 78, 45, 52, 59, and 63, and they limited them to three points in the first quarter. Lights out defense by Ottawa Glandor. Looking for the perfect gift for an out-of-town sports fan? WOSN's broadcast channel can now be streamed anywhere in the world online, Roku and Apple TV, for a $100 annual donation. Give the gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up at app.wosn.tv or by downloading the Roku or Apple TV apps. Well, Karis Will, a great job getting herself possession. Position inside, but pass just a little too far. Yeah, a lob gets thrown ahead of her. It's another turnover. Eagles nearing about uh, 10 turnovers so far through that opening quarter. Getting into the baseline. Nice runner's going to be no good. And our first foul tonight is going to be called here with 7.29 to go in quarter number two. Now they're going to get Addy Crow with a little hand action in the cookie jar. Slapped on the uh, wrist, and they're going to say, nope, that's not a turnover because he slapped her on the wrist. So Lily Hazelman will head to the line to shoot the first two free throws of the night. First one on its way, rattles in as that run continues for the Titans. All right, go back to that read, $100 a year, and they're going to be able to hear you and I all the time. 
Oh, might have might have given that as a gift to someone. That is better than the Jelly of the Month Club. That is that for is sure. Right. Second free throw rims out, no good. And they'll also get to hear our uh, fellow announcers, Mark Shine, Danny Holbrook, Dar yeah. Nevergall, as I run through. Yeah, a little shout out to our guy, Danny. Danny Holbrook, uh, mom's in the hospital fighting pneumonia. Our thoughts and well wishes are with you and your family, Danny. Foul at midcourt. This one is going to go on Hazelman, so she's going to pick up her first. She'll sit down. Did you say Evan Skilleter? Evan? Yeah. I forgot about yeah. Evan Skilleter. Yeah. Well, here, Evan. Nice pass into the corner. Quick trigger on the three is no good. Titans come away with a rebound. Bounce pass again goes into the corner for Aldrich. Into the baseline, no good. Second opportunity doesn't go. Katie Kaufman, two point, uh, point blank shots. Does not fall here. Now, Karis Willow averages four blocks a game, and you see why. Got one with the right hand, got one with the left hand. Gets her position. Can't get it to roll off the rim. Otto Glandorf doing such a good job of holding Liberty Benton to one shot only on the offensive end. Willow had a great look, but couldn't finish. Good defensive rebound by OG. Good bounce pass inside, but that one's going to be taken away here as we near the six-minute mark. Our scoreboard, again, tonight's scoreboard presented by Ultimate Outdoor. Three ball, no good, but we'll get a foul. 6-13 to go, 12-3. On the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard, the Ohio distributor, the structure Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor division of Alts Seamless Spouting. Yeah, Riley Irwin going over talking to Coach Irwin, and he's saying, that better have been a pass, because that wasn't an air ball, was it? A little step back, three-point shot, and landed in the hands of Willow. Willow able to hit the first free throw, and that ends the 12-0 Ottawa Glandorf run that covered the opening quarter in about a minute and a half of the second. Yeah, we'd say a seven-minute run? Yeah. Yeah, that was a long extended drought for Liberty Benton, but Willow ends it with two free throws. And for a team that... Uh, can score in bunches. Well, they're going to have to get points off of this end right here. Extending the 2 2 1. Ottawa Glendorf's going to get a travel call there. A little up fake, the bounce pass, but would have been good. Just kept moving while she was doing it. Good news is for the Eagles that the extended drought, this one hasn't gotten away from them. Just a seven point game. Still plenty of time as we near the six minute mark of quarter number two. And Grohaus really overplaying that right hand. Corner three is up and good. That is the shot we're used to as Riley Irwin knocks down her first triple of the night. Yeah, Riley Irwin, 24 threes coming in tonight, and to that total, it is compiling in a big way. And partner, she shoots it so high, she might bring some snow down with that one. Oh, not a rainmaker, a snowmaker. Snow it is December. She has got some serious arc on her shot. 12-8 now, 5.46 to go, quarter number two. Ball was tipped out of bounds by the Eagles. Ottawa Glandorf will inbound, shoot it out to the wing. It's Erford. Erford trying to figure out where to go as Aldrich had the basketball. She'll get it back. There's the pass inside. Kaufman trying to face up. Willow's going to block that one back at her, and we'll get a whistle. And did Karis Willow catch her on the arm? No, they're going to say it was a jump ball. They she did such a good job of def defending it. She blocked it back in the face of Kaufman, and both players have possession of it at the same time. So jump ball stays here with Otto Glendorf. Titans inbound to the left of their basket. Bounce pass nearly taken away. As it'll come top of the key, now they'll reverse it around. Grothaus will give it into the corner. Kaufman again with a turnaround. Off the window, can't get it to fall. Was surprised to find the ball back in her hands. Second effort is no good. They'll still wrestle for it. What a battle it's been inside between Katie Kaufman and Karis Willow. Well, Karis Willow has really affected this game in a positive way for Liberty Benton since she has come onto the floor. And her and Kaufman, quite the battle inside. Kind of fun to watch. So 12 to 8 here as we get to 5 10 to go, quarter number two in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And Kaufman doing a great job of denying Gherkin. 
Irwin with a ball fake and lobbed inside. Gherkin back at the free throw line. She thought about the three instead. Gives it into the corner. Wrecker with it. Wrecker with a long lob. Here's Willow. One hand. Can't get it to go. Ball's then lost out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Eagles as Kaufman just unable to put two hands on the pumpkin. Yeah, Willow's got to go with the, the power dribble, then go strong. One of the power dribble and kind of faded away. That affected the shot. Go through the contact. Get yourself to the free throw line like she did earlier. Swing it around. Now left open. Nice job. Cutting was Kirkin. Thought she got a little too far under the basket. Just a little late with the body contact. Will be Micah Aldrich. She's going to pick up Oh, crumb correction, that is Kaufman 34, not Aldrich 24. A real creative inbound set, well, kind of went five out, a little back screen to get Gherkin free. Good call by Coach Irwin when you want to get your best player going offensively, get her to the free throw line. So here's Lauren Gherkin at 21 points a night, and her first point tonight comes with 442 left to go in quarter number two. Now you can see why Bowling Green State University loves her and excited to get her on campus. She can do so many things well. Faces the basket, hits free throws. You know she didn't learn how to shoot from Ben, right? There's no way she learned <laughs> how to shoot from Ben. So Lauren came in 26 of 30 from the free throw line. That's pretty good, isn't it? Not bad. I'll take her to the fair so she can win me some bears. So move inside. Nice job holding her ground. The defense by Barbara, one of those players inside, number five for Liberty Benton. Eagles trying to come back, corner three is going to miss everything. Backside rebound pulled down by the Titans. They'll push in transition. But Liberty Benton again quickly gets down to take it away as Abby Crow had the steal. And now a whistle coming here with 4.07 to go in the quarter. Now Otto Glander kind of snacking on danger with 4.07 left in the second quarter. Holding on to that two-point lead. They had commanded this game, but Liberty Benton has figured some things out. Eagles back with the basketball as we have reached the halfway mark of quarter number two. Lauren Gherkin walks it up the floor. Dribble handoff for Irwin. Falling away. Three-pointers no good. No one really has control of the basketball. Finally for Ottawa Glandorf. Emma Brinkman will come away with it. Titans set up in the half court. Down into the corner, Erford. Yeah, such length and quickness in this 2-3. Tough to get a free look in the corners. They collapse on you in a hurry. Got to spin the ball quickly and try to hit a diver. They spin it quickly. Three banks off the side of the backboard. And it's Gherkin comes away with a miss. Gherkin, a little behind the back action, gives into the corner. Backup calls for it. Step inside the arc. That's going to go for two. Rebound was poked away. Liberty Benton fans I think they might have got away with an OG fans a little upset. They thought Sophia Barbara might have poked it away from a reach from behind. Yeah, I thought that she fouled Brinkman. Brinkman, good job getting the weak side position to get that rebound. Kaufman again draws the triple team, kick out corner three. That one's off the mark. That one's going to be deflected out on the rebound and will stay with the Titans. Now take it back to that three-point rule, right? Just because you have an open three doesn't mean you should shoot an open three, does it? That does not. Yeah, maybe reverse the ball. You don't want to get too stale offensively and keep the ball on one side. Inbound comes to the right of the basket now for the Titans. Under three to go in our second quarter. Three ball off the inbounds, no good. Nice job in traffic. Offensive rebound and Lily Hazelman to the rack and score. They got a credit, Chloe Glenn first setting up the screen to open three and then just getting a little bit of a tip on the rebound to keep it free and get her team another score. He's cutting the baseline. Nice baseball pass as Riley Irwin gets the first two point bucket of the night for the Eagles. Titans working this one around. Get inside, ball's poked away as Chloe Glenn draws a triple team. Good to see Chloe back. You see the big brace on her knee. Missed a lot of the year a year ago because of injuries. And good to see her back on the floor. Working hard too, you gotta wonder what kind of uh, game shape she's in. Haven't played in almost mm -hmm. a year. Gotta be tough to get those minutes and be in good condition. But I'll tell you one thing that's evident, partner. Her sneaker game is strong. Look at the red and yellows right there. Those are sweet. Calls for the basketball. 
Gets Karis Willow up in the air, but a nice adjustment. Willow blocked that one away. Block meter at Willow sits at about three, maybe? Yeah, three already. Averages four a game. Well on her way to that total. 2.07 left to go in our uh, ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Titans a one point led this one by Zbenia seven. It's now down to two. Into the teeth of that zone. Jumper off the front of the iron. No good by Erford. Eagles trying to move in transition. Now we'll get a whistle and a foul. Now Will didn't have a block shot on that last shot, but still affected it. In the top five in the BBC, they have three ladies, Willow, Gherkin, and Barbara. Those three have combined for 36 blocks already this year. Is that a lot? <laughs> it's like the mid-80s Georgetown Hoyas. That's how good it is. Eagles inbound this one from side court. Down to 100 seconds left in our opening half. Fast moving, cleanly played opening half of action. Be a touch on the uh, low scoring side, although these two did play 35-31 district final a year ago in a light in Division Three. No, you got to credit the officials, partner, because anytime you get a marquee matchup like this, you want to let them play, right? Mm -hmm. The officials have not overstepped their bounds in this game and made it about them. They have let these players control the game. Big swat away draws a cheer. Force the Eagles inbound now with a buck 21 to go before halftime. I'm nearly thrown away, but a nice adjustment. Save that one. There's Wrecker. Falls in, lost in the corner out of bounds. Liberty Benton does throw it away. Now the Titans will get it with a minute 12 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. It's kind of a weird game, though. Gherkin with only two points for Liberty Benton. If you would have talked to Coach Yant and said, hey, you'd hold her to two points in the first half, he'd been ecstatic, right? He'd think he'd have like a 20-point lead, right? Just holding on to a two-point lead. Nice dribble inside. Good bounce pass, but doesn't go. But the putback is going to be up and good. Kaylee Grothaus will score for the first time tonight. Now living that offensively eight foot and in. That's where a majority of Otto Glandor's points have come from. Eagles get that lob, Gherkin with it, a little one-on-one -on -one to the free throw line. Spins, goes up with a left hand, but can't get it to go as Kaufman has the rebound. Hey, Kaufman, just great defense. Stay between your shooter and the basket. That's what she's doing on Gherkin. One in the paint, going up with a left hand, Erford, a little too strong. Three white jerseys surround the miss. They'll get inside. Ball might have been inadvertently kicked or at least thrown off a leg, but the officials will play on. They'll call the tie up. And the ball's going to go back over to the Eagles here with 22.7 to go before halftime. If you're Liberty Benton, you push here with 22.7 or you hold for the last shot knowing that you could cut it down to possibly one. That's what I would do. Yeah, I think so too. Hold it for the last shot. Get Irwin a shot maybe for a three. Cut it down to one. That is at least right now what they plan to do. Record not in a big hurry. Crosses the timeline with 15 seconds to go in the half. Bounce pass comes to the wing. Crow with it. She's going to have it knocked away, trying to race back and save it. Nice job under the basket and a big bucket late in the half. They got credit Grothaus and then Aldridge for running the floor. Grothaus creates the steal, builds this lead to six at half. What a way to end the half. 18 12 Titans with a lead. Over Liberty Benton, we'll take a break. Second half coming for uh, coming up for you after this on WOSN. <laughs> Halftime here from the Supreme Court in Ottawa, where the Lady Titans of Ottawa Glandorf hold an 18-12 lead over the undefeated Lady Eagles of Liberty Benton. With Miles Holliday, I'm Brady Roberts. Partner, we thought we were going to see a good one here. Two regional rivals, Blue Bloods, as you put it, in mm -hmm. our pregame. Looking to do battle. These two met in the district final a year ago, know each other pretty well, have gotten in each other's way in the tournament, and they have uh, slugged one out here. 
maybe not the prettiest offensively at times, still very entertaining basketball game through 16 minutes. Well, I would say the way the game's been played definitely favors Otto Glendorf, right? One of our keys was under control, definitely under control. The scoring 18 to 12 puts it around 30, 40 points. Definitely where Ottawa Glendorf wants it. And Liberty Benton, if they can get this thing above 40 to 50 points, that means a more up and down tempo that fits their style. This has been a fun game, great matchups. Uh, Katie Kaufman's done such a great job of dealing with uh, Lauren Gherkin. Defensive principles, fantastic. Stay between the shooter and the basket. That's all she's doing, making it difficult for Gherkin. Sometimes you, you forget how simple the game can be, and Kaufman has done a great job defending Gherkin. Well, we talked about the uh, balanced scoring attack for Ottawa Glandorf in our pregame. That is shown through today. Carson Erford leads this team with five. Lily Hazelman has three. Maggie Verhoff, Caitlin Grothaus, Micah Aldrich, Katie Kaufman, Chloe Glenn each have two. Riley Irwin with five so far to lead Liberty Benton. Karis Willow with a couple of free throws, Wrecker with a three-pointer, and Lauren Kirkin at 21 a game held to just two free throws. Yeah, look for Liberty Benton to start extending. There, right there, you see it. Extend that 2-3, trying to create some turnovers, the quickness, the great hands. That time it was Irwin that got the steal. Going to lead to a three-point attempt at the other end. That's no good. Put back is going to be up and good. As Sophie Barbara able to score for the Eagles, cuts that lead 18-14. But quickly go the Titans down the other end. Katie Kaufman able to deposit one for a bucket. Hey, how about the big lady running the floor, getting to the low block before Gherkin. Kind of a Rebecca Lobo type play right there. Hustling down, getting to the low block, dominating inside. Gherkin gonna take a three. That one hits the iron a couple of times. Doesn't go. And a nice rebound for Aldrich. Ottawa Glandorf, one pass quickly, gets up the floor. We'll get a whistle foul inside. A couple of free throws coming here. The first two possessions of the second half, Otto Glandorf pushing when it's there. First time results in a layup by Kaufman. Second time, get to the free throw line by Erford. 7-10 left to go, third quarter. Now here's Carson Erford at the line shooting two. First one is no good. 20 to 14 on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, division of Alts, seamless spouting. As Erford splits the free throws, gives her six points, makes it a seven point lead for the Lady Titans. First time we've seen Liberty Benton really walk it up the floor. Into the corner, trying to go baseline as Barbara skip pass. Corner three, nothing but net. And that fires up Riley Irwin, her second long distance shot of the night. Now Riley Irwin, 38% on the year, 100% that time. Cuts that lead to four. An ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Titans thought about trying to match the other end. Instead, they'll roll inside. Shot's no good. Second effort just rims out. Erford rebound under the basket, but the pass is thrown off the foot of her teammate, trying to get it inside to Katie Kaufman, but it's a turnover. A tremendous positioning by the officials. Right there on the spot, could see it go out of bounds. Didn't have to guess on that one. Eagles bring this one into the front court. Barbara's pass, top of the keys deflected, but right to a teammate under the basket. I believe that is Addie Crow who's gonna head to the line as she's fouled. Yeah, Addie Crow spun to her left, got the deflection, landed right in her hand, went up quickly, didn't hesitate, got herself to the free throw line. OG foul on Maggie Verhoff. I believe her second, at least that's what they have on the board, is the first free throw does drop in for Crow. Gets her on the scoreboard tonight. How about the student section of Liberty Benton traveling this far? Not bad. Showing themselves out pretty well, representing. Second one is good. And that a terrible drive between these two schools. Good baseball pass. Nice job working the basketball. Does everything but go through the cylinder. And now it's going to be turned over on the pass to the wing. Irwin with it, trying to throw it off the foot, and she does. 
before being trapped. Throws it off Aldrich, out of bounds, saves the possession. That's twice in his game, Chloe Glenn at point blank range, hadn't been able to finish. And twice in two possessions for Ottawa Glendorf that they had layups that kind of escaped them from the scoreboard. Also, it'd be a different score holding to a three point lead. Top of the key, Gherkin thinking about the three, hits that one off the front of the iron. Rebounds fought for, and finally the Titans will get it. Coming out of traffic will be Grothouse. Grothouse into the lane as she hits the runner. Uh, Grothouse just gives great effort all the time, doesn't she? Goes coast to coast, has the wherewithal to know where she's at in the middle of the lane, and the ability to finish second to none. Patty Crow brings this one into the front court for the Eagles. They find themselves down by five again. 5.15 to go third quarter on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Crow into the corner. Irwin left open, buries the three. Otto Glandorf is furious. They thought it was a moving screen by Gherkin that got Irwin free. And Coffin goes down to the floor. Looks like the left leg giving her some issues. And you see a brace on that leg. Nice look of sportsmanship. Riley Irwin, the first one there, helping her up. Well, let's write this down at 5.04 in the third quarter. If, if Kaufman can't come back in this game, who's going to defend Gherkin? She has done a great job on her. It could drastically change the outcome of this game. High post pass taken away. Riker with the steal, left hand, gets it to go, and she'll have a chance at a three-point play. Oh, absolutely sensational. Breaking out the lefty, scoop, and the foul. What a play. Kylie Riker, now she'll have a chance to finish this off. A defensive Riker, Kylie. Lefty scoop, if you will. Yes, ma'am. Free throw on the way. And for the first time since it was three to nothing early on, Eagles of Liberty Benton back in front. Well, you want to be a championship type team, you have to go through some adversity and Liberty Benton has responded to the adversity that Ottawa Glandorf has spun towards them all day long. Found themselves trailing by six at the half, now with a one point lead. Wild shot put up, that one is good. Grothaus once again with another bucket, two of them this quarter, six on the night, puts the Titans in front as we yo-yo the lead here at the Supreme Court. How about the right-handed smooch off the window by Grothaus? Seeing some serious guard play. Irwin from NBA range doesn't get it to go, offensive rebound pulled down, and the kiss off the glass by Wrecker. Kylie Wrecker second time in this quarter. Just destroying the defense inside. Halfway through the quarter, Eagles back in front. Could be short-lived. Three balls no good. Irwin with a rebound in traffic to Wrecker. Wrecker one-on-one, stops. No good. Coming away with it in traffic will be Grothaus. Grothaus, good bounce pass. That one's going to be knocked away. Irwin getting involved in the block party. Ahead for... Gherkin, first one no good, but she'll get the put back in the end one. Uh, great players, they just sense the moment when it's time to be great. Look at Gherkin, misses, goes up and gets it again. And then the strength, the finish. Old fashioned three point play. Biggest lead of the night for the Eagles, now three, the chance to extend it to four, 3.37 to go third quarter. Well, I'd say the pace in the last few minutes of this ball game, definitely where Liberty Benton wants it. Free throw off the heel of the iron. Rebound tipped around. Gherkin gets her own miss. Yeah, Karis Willow affected it. Inside, Crow rolls it off the window and in. Well, you know you're a good shooter when you get that roll to fall in. Addy Crow. Everybody held their breath for a second, then it collapsed in the rim. How about a block on the other end? We can give Willow her fourth. I mentioned last night in a game, reminds you of the uh, Maui Invitational rims. <laughs> the friendly, Soft yeah. touch to roll it in. A Chaminade beating Virginia back in the day. 
tournament, by the way, also played in a high school gym. Corner three is no good. That's going to be last touched by Lauren Gherkin, says the official, as Gherkin reached around and knocked the ball free. And Nate Irwin thought it was off of OG, but Mark Fralick, he was right there in good position to make that solid call. Eagles lead this one by five. Three minutes left to go in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Baseline drive and a bump and a foul. It stops the clock. 2.55 to go, quarter number three. Substitutions set to come in for the Eagles as Lindsey May will see her first action tonight. Now looking at that Ottawa Glendorf bench, the Katie Kaufman Trainer's not with her anymore. She doesn't look like she's in too much discomfort. She might be coming back in this game soon. Jumper off the inbound is no good. Here's Gherkin trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Spins, gives behind her. Here's Wrecker. Straight on three, buries it. A little tray tray for Wrecker. Third quarter is Wreckering time for Wrecker. It's her second triple tonight. Extends that lead. Now 33-25. Eagles adding on to the biggest lead of the night. A little hesitation move, pull up jumper doesn't go for Maggie Verhoff. It's another one and done. Here's Liberty Benton with it. Wrecker again. Going up left hand, did. Ball out of bounds to the front row of the stands. And it looks like it's going to belong to the Titans. Now, Wrecker thought she had been fouled. She has absolutely dominated this third quarter. And good news for Ottawa Glandorf. It is Katie Kaufman entering the game. And Partner, when she was off the floor, this thing turned around in a hurry. Yes, it did. Ottawa Glandorf needs to have her back on the floor. She affects it so positively on the defensive end and with her rebounding. Roadhouse walked this one into the front court. Ball knocked free, and it's going to be saved by Liberty Benton. Ottawa Glandorf fans wanted to travel. Two players standing in one spot thought May had rolled all the way over, but it's still Eagle basketball off the cutter, high post. Barbara, that one's gonna be taken away, but right to a teammate, a loose ball, fortuitous bounce right into the arms of Gherkin who scores. Now yeah, Gherkin cut as the ball is stripped free, used the left hand to finish, extend this lead to 10. Gherkin now with six, still below her average. Caught under the basket is Grodhouse. He'll get the pass out. That one's going to be no good. Rebound slapped into the hands of Sophia Barbara. Barbara will get the outlet. Ahead to Wrecker. Wrecker still in the backcourt. Little razzle dazzle will bring it into the front court. Gherkin will move into the corner. Now she calls for the basketball. Had her defender posted up. Instead, Kicks it out over everyone. Long three is left short by Lindsey May. And now it's the Titans. Three on two. Little hesitation move. Ends with a bucket by Carson Erfer. Now if you're Liberty Benton with 46 left, make sure you get yourself a good look and don't turn it over. At least go in at the fourth quarter up by eight or more. Wrecker with it. High post is to Kirk into May. Step back, Irwin, high, arcing three. That one will head out of bounds, not the shot that the Eagles wanted. Coach Irwin a little upset. Gives the ball back over to the Titans here, 25 and a half seconds to go in the quarter. Ah, great defense by Maggie Vierhoff going over top the screen, getting that left hand in Irwin's face, making that three a tough one. So now the Titans are the opportunity here, down eight. Cut into this one before we move to the fourth quarter. Chloe Glenn draws the double team, spins out of it, shot is blocked. Eagles get it back. Gherkin trying to take on everyone into the corner. Three ball is no good, but a whistle. And I believe a player control foul. This is going to go on Gherkin, drawing the contact. That's kind of underneath where our position is. We had a tough time seeing it. But with 3.4 left, Ottawa Glandorf could get a good shot off here. See, Lady Eagles extending a little bit of pressure. Chloe Glenn from the half-court circle is going to be deflected, and that is how 
our third quarter will end. But Liberty Benton started the third, down six. Now they're up eight. Big quarter for the Eagles. They'll take the lead into the fourth. We'll have it next here in WOSF. Ready to head to our fourth quarter, 35-27 our score. Liberty Benton with the lead over uh, Ottawa Glandorf. Our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Alderman Outdoor, the Ohio distributor for the Structure Pergola X, Alderman Outdoor, division of Alts, seamless spouting. Yeah, right there. Kylie Rucker, the one that made a huge difference in that third quarter for Liberty Benton, takes the ball first on the inbound. Partner, she averages four steals a game. Seems like that third quarter she had four alone. Gherkin trying to step into a three. That's going to hit the support above the basket and be waved off. Kind of like arena basketball right there, wasn't it? Should count if it goes in. Just counted off everything. So a combination of arena football, maybe a little roller hockey, which is roll sideboards. Ooh. Everything's in play. I think we got a new game. There's a move inside. We'll get a whistle and a foul. Katie Kaufman's going to go to the free throw line. Did you see the little subtleness there by Kaufman to create the space with Willow? Use that forearm shoulder combination to carve it out. Smart move. She didn't bring it high. She kept it low so the officials couldn't see that she was creating space that way. Second foul on Karis Willow. Fourth whistle against the Eagles here. The first free throw is no good as it'll rim out. Looks like another substitution for Liberty Benton as Lindsey May is going to check back in tonight. Second one does the same thing, but that'll settle and fall through. It's Kaufman now with five, makes it a 35-28 ball game. Still seven and a half minutes to go here in regulation. It's Irwin trying to lose her defender. Free throw line extend, gets it out to the wing for Willow. Gherkin with it. We might see the ball in Lauren Gherkin's hands quite a bit. I was double teamed, had it stripped away. Chloe Glenn trying to race over to get it. Now oh, we got two white, two blue, two black jerseys. And a ball is tied up. Arrow will favor the homestanding Titans. Well, every time that Gherkin has spun with her back to the basket off the dribble, the double team from underneath has come and collapsed on her. That time it forced a turnover. Great coaching, great discipline, staying true to that game plan. And Coach Yant got to be excited that his girls are continuing to do it. 2-3 zone out of Liberty Benton this time. A dead move to fight through. It just doesn't go. That's been the night for Ottawa Glandorf. A good look. Caitlin Kimmett couldn't get it to fall. Irwin mid-range jumper doesn't go. And the rebound's out to the Titans. They'll look to push. Runner this time is up and good as Kaitlyn Grothaus now with eight. Now Grothaus, just a sophomore, but absolutely sensational. She's going to be a super one the next two years. Cuts that lead to five. Six and a half minutes left to go on the Alderman Outdoors scoreboard. Gherkin, left elbow to Irwin. Expect Gherkin and Irwin to be the majority of the offense here down the stretch for the Eagles. Gherkin through the lane. Left hand, nice job of that offhand. Keep everyone away from the pumpkin as she scores. Oh, smooth body control, splitting the defense and finishing the lefty scoop, keeping the lead back up to seven. Gherkin now with eight. It's been a struggle just to get to double digits for it. Nice bounce pass into the low block. Turnaround is up and good. Caitlin Ka or Katie Kaufman, excuse me, able to score. Yeah, such a different team when Katie Kaufman is on the floor. When she missed an extended part of that third quarter, that was when Liberty Bent went on their big run. Well, trying to stop this team. Here's Irwin, three. That one hits the iron. Offensive rebound off the deflection. Stepping up. Here's Wrecker, buries the triple. Wrecker hitting 43% from behind the arc on this year. Big time shooters make big time shots at big time moments. That is her third triple tonight. Pushes that lead to eight. goes into the corner. Kaufman trying to get room. Kaufman and Willow just going at it down on the low block. 
Kaufman trying to rotate over. Meanwhile, ball's taken away. Gherkin going to go right to the basket again with a left hand, spins it around and in. Oh, she is comfortable going back to that left hand. She can finish with the best of them with the left hand. Timeout by Ottawa Glandorf. Liberty Benton, they're on fire, partner. Yeah, timeout of the floor will take one as well. 4.43 to go. Eagles in front will step aside here in WOSN. Four forty-three left to play here from the Supreme Court as Ottawa Glandorf now trails a Liberty Bet 42-32. A couple buckets for the Eagles stretch this lead out to 10. Coach Troy Yant has seen enough. Want a quick 30-second timeout, talk to his girls. They got to get some movement on the offensive end. Last offensive possession, it was five ladies just standing, not moving against this 2-3 that Liberty Benton's employing. Trying to get the lob inside. They'll take the three. That one no good. Ball fought for, saved under the basket. Well, too far under the basket. Loose ball is then thrown out into the backcourt. Grothaus able to track it down. Yeah, about another block shot by Karis Willow. He's going to come up with a deflected pass. That one's going to be stolen. Eagles have it as we near the halfway mark of our final period. Amazing defense by Willow. Not fouling, going over top and poking that pass away. Top of the key, here's Gherkin again. Gherkin, she'll have it stripped. Grothaus with the steal. Leads the break, it's a 2-1-2. Two -two. Ahead for Mike Aldrich who puts it up and in. Another steal by Grothaus, leads the break. Nice pass for the delivery. We're back to an eight point game. Makes it 42-34. Gherkin holds high, gives to Irwin the cutter. Ball's going to be knocked out of her hands, going up for the layup. Kimmett will bring it into the front court for the Titans. Now to Erford. Into the corner. Kaufman with the long two. It might have been three. Close to being on the line. Either way, doesn't go. Here's Rucker, a bounce pass. As Gherkin do the, th do the smart thing, pulls this one back out. Leaves it for Wrecker. Three does everything but goes through the cylinder. She's fighting for the miss. It's no good. Now here come the Titans once again. Bounce pass Aldrich. Gets the kick out. Kimmett will have this one poked away. Down to 240 to play. And now it's Liberty Benton who wants a timeout. So we'll take one as well. 239 to go. 42-34 Eagles. We'll take a break here in WOSN. Liberty Benton able to get the inbound in following the timeout. Eagles in front by eight here, 42-34 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Two and a half minutes to go. As Irwin thought about the three, he's going to have the ball knocked out of his out of her hands. As Titans have forced the turnovers, just been unable to cash in, and now scrum for the basketball will lead to a held ball, and the arrow is going to go back to the Eagles. Yeah, Coach Irwin called timeout for the purpose of reminding his ladies, we have to be strong with the basketball, right? And they come out of the timeout, have a pretty good possession going, but then they turn the ball over. You are gonna have to be extremely strong with the basketball from here on out. He's trying to find someone that can hold on to the basketball for Liberty Benton here. 2.10 to go, Liberty Benton, three timeouts left. Ottawa Glandorf with four. As the Eagles will turn this one over. Well, that'll drive you nuts as a coach. You're trying to nurse an eight-point lead with two minutes left. Back-to-back -back turnovers keeps the door open for Otto Glendorf. Just want to tell you the foul situation. Titans with three to give. Eagles with two. Gherkin's going to get involved in the block party from the side. She has it poked away, though, at midcourt. Yeah, tried to get a little cute, go through the legs on the dribble, got it poked away. As Verhoff that poked it away, gets another possession for Otto Glendorf. She's got the basketball back, fires the wing three. It's no good. Head high rebound, snared by Kylie Racker. And if you're Otto Glendorf, you're going to have to start fouling. Clock is in the favor of Liberty Benton. The 
Eagles starting to run a little time off the clock here. Under a minute and a half left to go. Liberty Benton trying to stay undefeated. Trying to avenge that loss. Here's a kicked ball towards the Liberty Benton faithful. It stops the clock with a minute 13 to go. Pretty good soccer program here, right? Showing off the fancy footwork. You know, everyone's in the World Cup spirit. Well, I don't know about everyone, partner, but yeah, it's definitely been going on. World's biggest sporting event, son. And Brinkman comes in trying to get a little more defense and some perimeter scoring. Fall away jumper off the inbound by Gherkin, no good. Now we'll get a whistle for the rebound. It's kind of befuddling. Liberty Benton's been in a hurry offensively with a lead and the clock in their favor. Is there style by Willow, another block. Shot put up, it's out of bounds. Liberty Benton will get it back here with just under a minute left to go. Again, a scoreboard tonight presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor for the structure. Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, division of Alts Seamless Spouting. Eagles get the inbound in. Now a little dump and chase here in the final minute. Or how about the corner three? How about Karis Willow? The defensive wizard that time spins it from outside, buries the three. She's got five, pushes that lead to 11. Now the steal and the exclamation point as Wrecker gets the score. And it looks like a quick timeout. Timeout, we'll step aside again. 31 seconds to go, Eagles pull it away here in WOSN. Titans need some points in a hurry, down 13, and they'll go for the corner three to try to pull them within 10. It's no good, Gherkin had the rebound in the corner, was knocked out of her hands. And officials are going to say that it will be Titan basketball. Clock down to 22.6 seconds to go. And Maggie Verhoff will do the inbounding. Out to Erford. She'll take the three off the heel of the iron. Gherkin with another rebound. Let's see whether or not Lady Titans elect a foul down to 10 seconds to go in her Alderman Outdoor scoreboard. Looks like OG is gonna run this one out. They'll have the final few seconds. Big win for Liberty Bet, and they're gonna stay undefeated. They avenge last year's loss of the district final. Our final tonight from the Supreme Court, 47-34. We'll take a timeout. We'll wrap it up after this here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday back with you one final time here from the Supreme Court, Ottawa Glandorf, where Liberty Benton has come to town. Eagles stay undefeated. They improve to 7-0 as they get a 47-34 win over Ottawa Glandorf. So Lady Titans will now fall to 4-3 on the year. And Miles, a pretty impressive second, second half effort tonight out of Liberty Benton. Well, how about the third quarter by Kylie Recker, though? Kylie Recker was the wrecking crew for Liberty Benton. Uh, took advantage of uh, many steals in that third quarter, converted them into the points. And it's hard to believe that this was a team that was stuck at three points after the first quarter and came out and got 47 for the game. This is the first of three in a row on the road for Liberty Benton. Arlington and Crestview next. That's a team partner that is going to be very good the rest of the way because they have so many deep players that can shoot the ball and can attack the rim. And, of course, the Gherkin, who everybody's got to be concerned about and play great defense. Mm -hmm. How many block shots did they have tonight? Jeez, sure. <laughs> at least 12, right? Now, Karis Willow, I think, the final total ended up five just for her. Yep. Let's take a look at uh, individuals scoring three and double digits tonight for Liberty Benton, led by Kylie Recker. Six buckets, three of them from behind the arc. Free throw as well to finish with 16. Riley Irwin, four buckets, three of them from behind the arc to finish with 11. Lauren Gherkin, four baskets, couple of free throws, four, 10. No one for Ottawa Glandorf reached uh, double figures tonight. Carson Erford and Caitlin Grothaus are leading scorers. Erford, couple of baskets, uh, three pointer as well, and a free throw, four, eight. Caitlin Grothaus, four points, or four buckets, four, eight. Yeah, Grothaus was real impressive. Her ability to control the floor and 
harassed teams defensively is outstanding. And Katie Kaufman, what a great player, especially defensively. The game really changed when she lost extended minutes in that third quarter with the knee injury. It's a team that's now lost two in a row, but the good news for them, they're at home for a while. They have Elida, Bethel, Napoleon, and Crestview all at home coming up. I want to thank everyone who made our night here in uh, Ottawa Glandorf possible, the athletic department here at uh, Ottawa Glandorf. Great job always making sure that uh, we have a, a spot to work. You know, can't thank our WOSN crew enough. Yeah, our WSN crew did a, a great job. Kelsey stepping in, leading the troops, did a great job. Hey, tell you what, it's so much fun working for WOSN. And what is it, only $100 a year, and you can watch everything on WOSN? Yeah, is that what the, it was? Yeah, you get the uh, stream of the live program. So on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard, oh, one more time, our final 47-34. Liberty Benton over Ottawa Glandor for my partner Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew. I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.